Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today we are going to uh, progress our journey in learning Atom Piano Roll 2, um, going through the explanation on how to use buttons. So before I start, if you haven't subscribed, please do so as that will help to grow the channel, bring more tutorial videos and give away. Thank you. So we are inside the UM, so we are going to create first a MIDI channel, then an audio channel, and then we are going to choose uh, something simple for that audio channel. And then we are going to choose the Atom Piano Roll 2 as a MIDI processor, and we connect the two so we can hear some sound. So let's open up Atom Piano Roll 2 and let's maximize it. First of all, let's click on buttons. So as you can see, there is one pattern, pattern number one here, which correspond to your clip, your clip which you're working on. Okay, so let's click on add and let's create some notes. As you can see, the notes are replicated inside the pattern itself. Um, patterns works differently than clipboard or layers, they're not shared. So if I was to create another instance of Atom Piano Roll 2, like so, and I was to open up uh, the patterns there, you can see there is no sharing of pattern. Okay, let's go back to uh, the first instance of Piano Roll 2. Um, the, the thing you can do here is, for example, add a duplicate, and it will duplicate exactly what you had as a pattern number one. And so you have pattern number two now, you can remove the pattern, clicking in where it said uh, remove pattern. You can also add an empty one, so, and then you can select that one like so. You can see the tick here of selection, of pattern two is selected. And then you can add an additional note like so, okay? So let's do something like uh, that. Um, and let's also make sure that it is in launch mode. And now you can play, right? <laughs> You can also do pattern switching and um, there are different modes that you can use to do pattern switching. So you see here where it says PC switch source. So click to the left here and goes where it says off. Okay. So in this case, you have to do the changes from one pattern to the other manually. And it says the manual here where it says pattern one and pattern two says manual, which means that you have to do them manually. So you click play and you click on the pattern manually to change the pattern which is being played. Also, what you can see here on the right hand side of the pattern, you find two buttons, one which says focus, which enable the focus of the pattern, without removing the selection of the one which is being played. And if you want to change with the one which is being played without changing the focus and therefore the pattern which is selected, you just click on play. So in this case, pattern one would be armed for playing and the pattern two is not armed for playing and it doesn't have a focus, but I can click on focus on pattern number two. And you can see the pattern number one is flashing, indicating that that would be the pattern which would be playing. So let's try. So pattern one is playing. Let's focus pattern one. Okay, let's play pattern two, but don't change the focus. Okay, so hopefully that is straightforward. Let's go uh, to pattern number one now. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is, uh, let's click on time here and let's select eighth notes to half yeah, the, the clip. So if I was to say clear notes, it would clear only the notes right on the clips. So let's click undo, corresponding to that button, of course. But if I was to click reset part button, it will also reset the timing, which, um, so that's the difference between uh, a reset button and a clear notes. You can also clear automation if you have recorded some. Now let's go back to the default. So I talked about switching pattern manually. Now let me show you how you can do that in with using other sources. So let's click on the right hand side here. It says note now. So we're going to use note to do to switch patterns. So let's connect the keyboard first of all to uh, this Atom Piano Roll instance. In this case, if I play the keyboard, 
it will also send me the messages to the corresponded link to pia uh, piano U audio unit instance. So to avoid that, let's click on the clip and let's remove through all input, okay? In this case, if I click on the keyboard, it will now send through me the messages to the uh, piano audio unit instance. Now, it says that the switch channel is number one, so that responded to channel uh, MIDI channel number one. Then it says roof of set, which is zero, which will correspond to C minus one, where it says that here. Okay, you can change that to moving up like so, or down like so. And then you have a spread, which says one note spread. In that case, the pattern number two will be activated when you press the note corresponding to, T, to C sharp dash or minus one. So let's try. So let's uh, scroll the keyboard right to the bottom. Okay. If I press C1, I have the first pattern selected. If I press C sharp uh, uh, minus one, sorry, not C1, you can see it switching to the second one. Of course, if I wish, for example, to increase the spread, that um, the, the note to switch the pattern number two will go to D1 because I will, I will have two notes spread. So C minus one, first pattern, and D minus one, second pattern, okay? Really straightforward. You can also use CC messages to do switching. And again, you have a switch channel, MIDI channel. You have the CC message as an offset, in this case, number zero. And then you have the spread, so you can decide by one, two, three, etc. Of course, it becomes more interesting as you use uh, more than two patterns, which I'll show you in a moment. So. If, you, if in this case you have another unit sending CC messages, you could experiment in um, switching pattern using CC messages. If you don't, one way to do it in AUM is to go under MIDI control, select that MIDI instance, and go under parameter under piano roll two. Let's pick up this one play pattern. Let's select um, CC. Then and also channel number one and also let's decrease the um, the range here because it makes it a little bit easier, like so. So let's open that up and um, now let's move this down, like so, and observe the switch of pattern now. See, it's gone to pattern number one. And now pattern number two as you change up and down here. Okay, so that's a quick way to do that. Um, of course, you can also use, if you click again there on the arrow, uh, program changes as well. Similar thing, note that is used by default uh, switch channel number 16, but you again, again, you have the PC offset and the spread as well. Now, let me show you also how the merge all functionality works. So let's click on merge and it will merge the, the, the patterns which are available into a new pattern there. So let me remove the keyboard now and maximize these windows. As you can see, the spread has changed here. It goes by one, the spread. So the first one would be program change zero, and then one, then two. If I was to say, move these two spread two, you'll have the first one to zero, the second one to two, and the third one to four. So please pay attention as that works, particularly with notes. Look at this one. So the first one would be C minus one, the second one D minus one, two semitones up, okay? And the third one E minus one, two semitones up, according to the note spread as well. You can also use uh, uh, velocity here. Again, you have switch channel, the switch note, then you have the velocity of set and the velocity uh, spread. So let's move the velocity spread to something like so, and let's go above a little bit on velocity. Um, actually, no, let's let, let's keep it down to no. Let's 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 move up a little bit. Let's also move that note to uh, I don't know C zero. Okay, let's bring up the keyboard. Let's change the sensitivity here on the keyboard, which will make it easier as well. Let's put this one to maximum. Right, so the note C0 is the one for switching. So depending on velocity, which you can simulate the change in the vertical position on the key, you will see the switching of patterns. So, say it's the first one, which has been uh, um, second one. You saw the second one switching, and then the third one switching, depending on where you click on the keyboard sorry, on the key of the keyboard, okay? So that's one example of how you can use a velocity to change a switch button. And of course, you have also CCV 
as well signals which you can send okay so um, this is the way that you can switch uh, patterns in Atom Piano Roll and um, all these different sources for switching becomes very useful, particularly when you have external gears. I hope you found this useful. See you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.